So the crew and I have been talking about this place for weeks. I'm really excited to see it. Uh, who doesn't love a good deal? I'm a huge bargain shopper myself. So let's go inside and check out Crazy Bins. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Everything here is a dollar today. So I don't know how to do this. I feel like I I'm just gonna dive in. Like what is in here? There is a ball, a book. Oh my God, I feel like oat milk is expensive. This is not expired yet. It doesn't expire to April, so it's not expired stuff. And it's a dollar? And it's a dollar. We know these are bougie chips. These are bougie chips, they are not $1. I'm getting into the mood. I really feel like I can't take my eyes off the bins because what if I'm missing something great? Phone cases, frozen. Who doesn't love frozen? It's a surprise party pack. I feel like I should get this for my niece. What's your favorite thing that you bought today? I got Elsa. You got Elsa stickers. That's awesome. Here, and I do oh. baskets. Okay, so cute. buying the tins at a buck instead That's of good. like 10 in the stores. Yeah, because even though the dollar store, you can't really get these for a dollar anymore. No. Right. Okay, so let's barcode it. Oh my God, you can actually buy your like daily goods here. Okay, so Christina is... Hey, look, it's 26, 20. Oh my God, this is $26 soap. On Amazon, exact same one, $26. For two bars of soap. For two bars and there's two in here. This is ridiculous. First of all, this soap is $26, which I think is ridiculous, but you can get this for a buck. All right, so uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys do here. Uh, it's um, a new concept of uh, shopping, uh, returned items. We are working with the different uh, online retailers. Okay, so today's dollar days, but then it's different through the week. So tell me about this pricing model that you guys do. Yeah, actually, we start our week uh, on a Friday, and uh, each item and every item uh, should be $25. Okay. And we go down gradually. Uh, Saturday will be $10. Monday 5, Tuesday 3, Wednesday $1, like what you see now. And tomorrow, Thursday, will be $1. Do you yeah, ever yeah. get something that you're like, oh my God, we're going to sell this for only $25? Like, do you ever get items that are so expensive that you're like, I'm so shocked we're going to sell it for We had a lot of laptops. Airbot, laptops, you laptops. sold laptops, yes. working laptops for $25. Yeah, working, working laptops, it was, it was worth like $3,000. Oh, so someone really lucked out that day. I think so. <laughs> Actually, we have lucky customers every day. You're a good salesman. I wish he knew more about like their actual business model. I mean, obviously it's a private company, so he doesn't want to reveal too much, right? I mean, it's clear so a lot of it comes from Amazon. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'll bet, like you know, when people the shut app. down their their stores and whatnot, like back in the day when Zellers shut down, I'll bet it would have gone to places like this, you know? Yeah, liquidators. But um, yeah, it would have been good to know more about the actual business itself. But lots of cell phone cases. Tons of cell phone cases. Yeah. yeah. And this is what it is, right? Every generation we have new cell phones and constantly all of these phones are probably like these cases just don't fit the latest generation and yeah. we're just it's all of this waste is piling up and yeah. if they're trying to like get people to look at it every week they're dumping it back in the bins this is why we're seeing so much of it like, at the end of the day where is all this junk end up and i've done story about like end of life cycle of things donations where do things go they end up at the landfill at the end when there's too much of it yeah, yeah. it's nice it's trying to extend the life but there, it can only go so far right so I've got a lot of stuff. Okay, she works know. for Mamas for Mamas as a resource director. She's where Christian's getting people right now. So want to go to okay, let's go so talk to her. One, so the head pillow thing. Oh. That's like $45 at Toys R Us or something. Oh, hello. How Hello. are you? I'm from CBC. Hi. How's it going? What was Hi. your name? Lisa. I work with a nonprofit, Mamas for Mamas. You know, this year was tough for a lot of our families that come in. And we're there to lend them a hand up when they need it. I do a lot of charity work. I had won $100 on the radio in December, and because I was done all my Christmas shopping, I had decided to pay it forward. But I thought $100 at the mall is not gonna buy me much, so I decided I'm still gonna donate the $100. But I came here on a Wednesday, and I was able to buy 101 things. And it came to, you know, just slightly over $100. And you came and here that on was, your own time. To on go my own, that. on my own time. 
And we stock the office with brand new girls' jeans and t-shirts and hoodies and clothes because I came on a Wednesday and it was a dollar a day. That's amazing. You're an yeah. amazing person. Uh, well, You're a good person. I, I think, you know, karma. Right. Karma's got to be good to you. Yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but... Yeah, because it just means something to you. This I learned from my parents. You give back. Yeah, that's really important. And we're lucky. We're lucky that we're able to provide. So it keeps me busy, keeps my mind busy. It's just so nice that I'm able to continue what I've been doing for years, but my dollar stretches further. We're in different times, and I think, you know, something like this is, is wonderful. And as you can see, you know, it just keeps getting busier and busier. There are some real stories here, pretty unbelievable to meet the, uh, the type of people that we have. And it's really interesting because no one feels like they're bringing home too much stuff because it's, um, a lot of it, I guess, is about like passing it on and, and paying it forward, just like Lisa said. So that's, that's really great. It's awesome. Uh, personally, I have not found anything yet that I would like to purchase, but I don't like to buy a lot of stuff. I'm like a, a needs kind of person, so. I mean, like to me, it seems like a lot of the stuff isn't <laughs> yes, I agree. A lot of it, I mean, I just like, this could be, like if you were doing like home renos or you needed something like this, like this could be good. Like, you know, shower hooks, they're actually stuff you would need. I guess like my question is like from an affordability perspective, like is this worth your time to like sort well, of stuff? I guess if you feel like, you know, like somebody like Lisa, this is her job. Her job is to help provide for these families, and this is the way she can stretch her dollar, so it makes sense. Wrapping up here at Crazy Bins, and a couple of thoughts. People here are super, super nice, first of all. Um, I thought it'd be a kind of elbows up, vicious competitive environment, but everyone was super nice, and there's some great stories there. And you know what? A lot of the stuff isn't really stuff you would need. Um, you know, some of us really picked over, but it's probably a better use of um, extra stuff for it to go, you know, to other families or, or, you know, to be donated or whatnot than going to the landfill. But either way, that was cool to check it out.